story of how Vin Baker lost his spot in the NBA and the riches he made. Now the old Saybrook native is working with kids. A mentor has learned some valuable lessons himself. John Pearson has the story. It's a long way from the glamorous life of the NBA. Vin Baker spends lots of his time in Bridgeport working for the housing authority and mentoring kids. He wants them to understand his story. You have to be bold enough not only to talk about the good times, but talk about the tumultuous and the bad times. Baker speaks from experience. From the outside, his was a storybook life. An NBA all-star making millions of dollars. Somewhere, the good life mixed with the bad. Um, you start to put people in your lives that weren't with you at the beginning, and a lot of things can go wrong, and a lot of things did go wrong. Years of success in the league slowly gave way to personal failure. Baker began drinking and drinking a lot. He also struggled with his finances. If anyone was in trouble or anyone needed something, um, I was the person, obviously, that they'd come to, and I, I had a hard time saying no. And when you combine the fact that you don't say no along with having a disease of um, alcoholism, that's not a good combination. Baker's career bottomed out in, of all places, Boston. So close to home, yet still so far down that dark road. The Celtics suspended him for good. It's the first time that I felt like I hit rock, rock, rock bottom because my talents had diminished. Um, I was in a place, in a space that I shouldn't have been, but because of my actions, I put myself there. So that's when I really felt like um, less than what I was. His faith and family have put him back on track. Baker says he hasn't had a drink in a long time. He's learned a hard, expensive lesson. We're not all perfect, and um, people need to know that before they try to strive to be. I'm John Pearson, News 8 Sports.